The rogue's outfit is incredibly worth obtaining, to the point I would recommend getting it immediately after you hit level 50 thieving. The outfit doubles all loot you receive from pickpocketing. Grab an enhanced teleport seed from an elf? Congrats, now you have two seeds. When stealing coins, it does not give you two coin pouches, it gives you the equivalent in loose coins you would have stolen on top of the coin pouch. If you plan on doing RD Knights to 99 thieving, getting the outfit will earn you an extra 7.5 mil GP total. The rogue's outfit also allows you to utilize the elf thieving moneymaker, which is the highest GP earning skilling method in the game. You can obtain the outfit from the rogue's den maze, which requires 50 agility and 50 thieving. The rogue's den is located under the bar in Berthorp. You can quickly access this with a game's necklace. You are not allowed to bring anything into the rogue's den maze, but a stamina's potion effect will carry over into the maze, so I'd recommend drinking a one dose potion before you enter the maze, as your agility will be getting drained throughout the maze. You can enter by talking to Brian O. Richard outside the gate. Before you enter, I would recommend enabling the rogue's den, ground markers, and object markers plugins in Runelight. The Rogue's Den plugin highlights all the traps in the dungeon, making it much easier to avoid traps. The ground and object markers allow you to hold shift and highlight a ground tile or object. This is important as you will need to stand and move to specific spots in order to avoid the traps. The maze is full of various agility obstacles and thieving traps. Disarming a thieving trap reduces your thieving level, and going past an agility obstacle will do the same thing to your agility level. If either your thieving or agility level hits zero, you will be booted and have to restart. If you trigger a single trap inside the maze, this will also boot you to the start. You can run over a maximum of three traps if you start from the tile before the traps. You want to be abusing this quite liberally. At the end of the maze, there are a bunch of wall safes. Cracking any one of these has a chance to give you a rogue's equipment crate, which allows you to choose a rogue's outfit piece of your choice. There are five pieces total. Don't choose a rogue kit, as this can just be turned into a rope, chisel, tinderbox, or spade. Basically useless. You have a what seems to be about 50% chance of failing the safe crack, which boots you to the beginning of the maze with no reward. This doesn't seem to be affected by level as I have over 90 agility and 99 thieving, and I still failed twice while collecting footage for the video. The maze takes about 4 minutes to complete if taking the long route, so you can expect to get the rogue's outfit in a little under an hour. There are two routes, the long and short route. The short route takes a shortcut that requires 80 thieving, but skips half of the maze. I really don't recommend waiting until 80 thieving so you can take this shortcut, as you will have wasted a lot of GP getting to that level. But if you already have 80 thieving, you might as well use it. I'll be showcasing both routes up ahead. First, let's start with the long route. Okay, so I'm going to drink my stamina potion before I go in, because you can have nothing on you when you enter. And from here, you just literally click on the bars here that skips that first trap. Go through here. These pendulums are no threat at all. You always dodge them just by walking in front of them. I mark that tile there so I know where to walk. Then I walk over here and walk to this tile. You could just click on the door alternatively. That works as well. So I walk to this tile specifically. Then I'm going to click on this marked tile. And then I'm going to click on the end here. Mark those tiles there. Here I just need to walk up here and skip that next one. Mark both of those. And you just come over here, climb across the ledge. Ledge has no threat to it either, you can't fail. And walking on the right path here. With these saw blades, you need to click on top of them to make sure you actually dodge them. If you click past them, your character will path around them and you'll get hit and fail. And again, just walk in front of these pendulums. Climb this ledge. Then over here. And you can click just straight across these. Walking into this passageway. Make sure you click on top of this saw blade. And we just keep going. So here you just take the close path. You actually can just click on the door and your character will path straight past all the traps for this room. Which you can see me do here. And 
Then we walk in here. So you want to wire this tile specifically so you don't walk into that spinning blade there on accident. And then you just click climb ledge. And I marked the tile right before the wall. And this is four traps long, so you're going to have to check one, and then you can just run past the rest. Here, as long as you are standing on this tile specifically, once you click past them all, your character will just path around them perfectly. Just like that. Here you need to pick up this tile when you open the door. So you want to mark that. You don't actually use the tile on the door, you just open it. You just click on it. Go right through. And for this area, you have to walk through these doors in a specific pattern. So I like to mark the doors so I know where to walk through. That one, that one, that one. You mark this guy. You run all the way over here, mark this guy. Then you go through this one. Go there. There. Okay, we're through the doors. Here you want to be careful. Make sure you click on that tile right before the walls and then just run past them. Go through this door. And then click on the other side of these three traps. Again, make sure you walk right before these traps and then run across. Walk past a pendulum. Walk past this pretty easily. Here you just run to the midway point of the spike traps. Then you run to the end. And keep going. That's where the short path ends there on your left. If you were able to do that. Again, walk to the middle of these traps and walk past them. Almost at the end now. You need to grab this flash pattern on the right. I almost forgot and got caught here. That was pretty dumb. I like to mark that flash pattern. Use it on the guard. As soon as your character starts throwing, you just run right past. They're stunned for a good amount of time, so it's pretty lenient. Then you just gotta get past these two pendulums. And that's it, maze complete. All these wall safes are exactly the same, so you just crack any of them. I just crack the closest one. And then you have a chance of getting your piece. I got a piece here. Moving on to the short route. Okay, so this is the short path. Drink that stamina potion like before. Go right in. The beginning of this is the exact same. You just click on the spike wall here. Go past the pendulum. Click to this corner. Click to that tile. Click straight on the door. Walk through. Walk to this exact tile. Walk to that exact tile. And then walk to the end here. Click to the middle. Click through here. Climb this ledge. Past that, take the right path. Make sure you click on the saw blade so your character doesn't path around. Walk past these pendulums. Cross this ledge. Click straight across. Now this is where it deviates. So you're going to pick lock through this door. Pass the bars here. Go left of these spinning traps. And through this door. And we're actually right at the end. So you're just going to walk past these traps. Click in the middle and then click to the end.
Grab the flash powder, use it on the guard. Even when he's that far away, it doesn't matter. You just walk right past. Get past the two pendulums. And crack any of the safes. I just crack the closest one every time. I actually have 99 thieving and agility, and I still failed. So, interesting to know you can fail at any level. The only reason I wouldn't bother getting the rogue's outfit is if you aren't pickpocketing to 99. At places like Pyramid of Plunder or Sorceress's Garden, the rogue's outfit does absolutely nothing. If you aren't in either of these boats, I would recommend getting the outfit immediately at level 50 thieving. And that's it for the video. Leave a like if you liked it, or subscribe. Thanks, guys.